Hi, hi. Good evening. How are you? How are you today? Hi, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Great to see you. <laughs> Thanks, Miss. See, check in attendance. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. Vamos a ver. Um, hmm. Class number 19 today. Time is really, really flying, right? Really, really flying. I want to share something with you. Let me see. Let me see. I was checking the platform yesterday. Um, I was updating the information and I was still missing a couple of you, right? Working, working the platform. So hopefully, Hopefully you're getting updated too, right? So yeah. mm -hmm. nice. Larissa and Sylvia. Okay, oh, nice. The others are, are free, 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 free. You're complete. So today and tomorrow you can rest. I won't say rest in peace, but you can rest <laughs> because you can relax because you have already finished everything. Okay. Did you feel the shake? Won't them blur? in the afternoon, did you feel it? Hmm? Yes, yes. Um, I was uh, in my work and I feel tired. In what area was it sensible? Uh, I don't know. Ah, que fue en Guatemala. It was in Guatemala, right? Maurice of Guatemala City. Miss, yo tengo una, una situación en este momento. Tell me, tell me. Yo tengo que presentar. Yo tengo que presentar mañana un informe temprano, temprano, y creo que me va a llevar que son unas cuatro o cinco horas. Eh, y quisiera, eh, sí voy a estar de la, pendiente de la clase, pero voy a estar haciendo las dos cosas. Aunque yo sé que solo las mujeres pueden hacer dos cosas a la vez y nosotros no, pero. Sí, o sea, pues, no quiero que me dé la madrugada. Sí, 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 claro. Bye. Este, ahí le vamos a gritar, Luis. No, sí, voy a estar aquí, pero, pero voy a estar ahí con un oído eh, y un ojo a la, a, a la clase y, y la otra parte. Vaya, un ah, oído, un ojo y una mano para cuando hay. Ok. Ok, ok. Vaya, pues, solo porque no queremos que se desvele. ¿eh? Sí. Está triste, saben que ayer, ayer yo no sé qué le pasó a Zoom, pero mi video se terminó de convertir, sin exagerar, a las 11 y 40. 11 y 40, imagínense. 
usualmente termina en convertirse tipo 10 y 40, 10 y 44, y ayer eran a las 11 y 40, 42, por ahí así. Y todavía... Mis, es que eso, se, eso se da cuando participamos demasiado, como que Zoom tarda más en procesar. No, yo creo que fue el link que pegué en el chat. Cuando pego el link en el chat pasa eso. Cuando, bueno, cuando bueno. pegamos, cuando se escribe mucho en el chat y cuando les pego un link en el chat pasa eso. Y cuando hago muchos grupos, por eso no Ajá. hago más de cuatro. Sí. Fíjense, por eso es que no hago más de cuatro grupos. Yo antes hacía ocho o diez, pero me pasaba siempre esto, que era una hora entera para que el video se convirtiera. Yo, y por eso no estoy haciendo grupos así, o sea, muchos, muchos grupos, porque me llegan a la medianoche ese ayer. Después me dijo que se subía en media hora el video, en realidad no se subió en media hora. Se subió como en 40 minutos. Pues, me a dormir pasadas las 12, casi 12 y media. Entonces, no, está triste, pero le entiendo eso, estarse adelante. No está. Ya para nosotros. <ríe> Vaya, vamos a ver. Ok, we are 11. Esperemos así, con el dedo cruzado, que hoy el video se convierta rápido. Y que la teacher se pueda dormir. Vamos a ver. Tell me present. Um, Carlos Alfredo. Present. Cecilia. Present. Clarissa. Clarissa. Claudia. Claudia Vaya, sorry que los estoy muteando porque hay mucha bulla y no se oye que estoy pasando tendas, ¿verdad? Por fin. Vaya, vamos a ver Claudia y Boom. Claudia. Claudia, Claudia, Daniel, present teacher, ¿Quién está present acá? teacher, What, you're watching a soccer match, ¿Verdad? somebody's watching a soccer match, because it sounds like people running and shouting and talking very fast, Erika, Joanna, present teacher, um, Isaías, Present, Miss. Nice. Iván. Iván, Iván. Yvette. Yvette. Jonathan. Present teacher. Jorge. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Antonio. Present. Nice, nice. Karen. Karen Leticia. Luis Enrique. Present, Miss. Manuel. Present, teacher. Rosy. Present, teacher. Sandra Elizabeth. Sandra. Silvia Estela. Silvia Estela. Silvia Inés. Present teacher. Ok. Ok, vamos a ver quiénes se han conectado después. Clarixa, Claudia Igón, Iván. Present teacher. No me escucha. No, que... Claudia. Le dije antes y no me, creo que no, no me escuchó. Sí. No, hoy sí le oí, hoy sí le oí. 
Ok, gracias. Vaya, Iván, Ivette, eh, Karen, Sandra Elizabeth, Silvia. Vaya. Cuento que aquí andan un solo que ya me preparan las dos piernas, dos chicas, dos chingos. Tengo sangre agradable, dice mi hermano, para los oscuros. No está de morderme con gana. Vaya, Karen, no here. Sandra, Silvia Estela. No. No, no. Okay. Bueno, we are 14. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, remember yesterday we were talking about conditionals, right? We were working uh, and talking about things that we know are, are true, things that we know happen we can say right and that is the conditional type zero the one we were using yesterday okay well we will be making a review of that and we will be making a review of vocabulary so we have vocabulary practice today of unit number four and the objective is by the end of the lesson participants will be able to give instructions Using imperatives. Mm, remember, we have been talking in this in this course about in the requests, and we say a request is an imperative where we say please. What do you mean, Sorry. Hi, Beth. Mm -hmm. Because in, in the imperatives, we only give orders, right? We give instructions. We don't say please. And we use imperatives. We use imperatives to write, to give instructions about about whatever, right? About different things that you can. Do. Okay. So today, one of the things we will be talking about when using imperatives is how to complete a form when you ask for permission okay now just giving a, a check to what we were talking about uh, yesterday check how to use if and when to join clauses and we said we use it to talk about something that happens right we also said that we can use a uh, when instead of if in this type of conditional, in conditional type zero. No problem, you can use if or you can use when. We also said that in conditional type zero, eh, the, the sentence is using present. So we use present and present, right? Present, present. That's the structure we use, present, present. Because the purpose, is to express something that we know happened when we do something else. Any questions about this structure that we were talking about yesterday? Questions? Mm -hmm. No, teacher. No questions. Now, this is uh, what we didn't finish yesterday. Uh, we were to write a short paragraph about policies and procedures at your workplace. And the idea is that you use if or when. So you say, well, when I'm late to work, I complete a form asking for permission. Or when I need to be absent, I have to complete a form asking for permission. When I'm sick, I go to the doctor. So you tell me, 
according to the policies, what are the policies that you have at your work, right? What are the policies and what are the procedures that you have to do or that you have to follow at your workplace in different situations, okay? So I'm going to send you to the rooms right now. You're going to work with your partners, write the paragraph, uh, check that paragraph, uh, check that you use the structure correctly. Remember, we use it if or when with the meaning of a, a joining, right? To express something that happens if we do something or something that happens if we don't do something. We said that in these clauses, we use in simple present. So simple present about after if and simple present in the result. Do you have any questions about the structure so far? No questions. No questions. No, what are you what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do in this activity? Uh, in group, uh, write a paragraph. Uh huh. Use uh, about if policy. and when about policies. Uh huh. About policy and uh, procedures. 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 That my job. You make a combination, right? You As you're going to well. see. As you're going to be in groups. You make a combination of the policies in one company and the other, right? But remember, the purpose is that you use if and when in your sentences. Okay, one thing. A paragraph, así como una sentence es un grupo de palabras, un párrafo es un grupo de razones, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es ver que le damos la secuencia verdad lógica a la hora al, al párrafo no me tiren oraciones sueltas sino que a mí me dan conforme el párrafito y lo que hacemos es que justo donde, si la oración termina aquí aquí empiezo la siguiente aquí verdad y así termino una oración por aquí no me voy a escribir la otra acá sino que sigo acá y eso ya se convierte en párrafo es un grupo de oraciones, seguiditas unas de otras, y hay que ver que lleven secuencia. A esta altura ustedes ya saben usar joiners, ya han usado palabras conectoras que nos ayudan a unir una oración con otras. Le vamos a dar este uso. Acuérdense que mmm, la semana pasada estuvimos hablando de esa sequencing words, por ejemplo, first and next and then. Entonces, todas esas palabras les pueden ser disponibles. ¿Ok? ¿De acuerdo? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Va. Vámonos, pues. Si tienen alguna pregunta, tengan libertad antes de que los mande. No questions. Mm -hmm. You have the space, this space in the manual, ¿verdad? In your manual. You can go to your manual and there you find that page. What page is it? Who knows? Teacher, disculpe, ¿y esa es uh, lo que quiere de usando el if y el, y el web? Eso lo va a compartir en el grupo. Está en su manual. Ah, en el manual. Oh, okay. Okay. Y que... Go to page 46 en el manual. Número de páginas. 46. 40, 40, 40, 40. Ah, 46. 46. Ok. Sí. Página 46. Aquí se ve más grande en la presentación, pero es chiquito. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 lines. Ok. Ok. Un párrafito de 7 lines. Only. 
Y como recuerden, van a combinar las, 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 eh, las ideas de todo el grupo, ¿verdad? Al final terminan con un buen párrafo. Ok, any other question there? No, page 46, 46. Bueno, pues, 17. Ah, muy bien. Nos quedan 4, 4, 4. Let's go. Join. <coughs> go, go. Para que join, Ceci. Niña Ceci. Erika. Try to join. Mm, okay. Sandra, 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 Sandra. Pero, Hay que hacer un párrafo de lo que es procedimientos y otro que tenga que ver con lo que son. Es un, es un solo párrafo. Ah. Sí, ahí mezclen policies y procedures. Porque es un sol. Policies. ¿Se acuerdan cuando hablamos de las policies, verdad? Por ejemplo, smoking in the company. What happens when you go, when you smoke in the company? What happens when you arrive late? Esas eran las policies, ¿se acuerdan? Ajá. Uh -huh. So what happens if I arrive late to work? I get in trouble. Uh -huh. So esas son las que van a ocupar. Son las que van a poner con condition. ¿Qué sucede si usted llega tarde? ¿Qué sucede si usted fuma en el, en el trabajo? ¿Qué sucede? ¿Qué le pasa? Es problema Dios, cosas que ustedes saben que pasan si hace algo. ¿Ok? De acuerdo. Ok, procedures. 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 Son los... las políticas que tiene toda empresa. Uh -huh. Unas más radicales o más estrictas que otras. Ahí analícenlas y mezclenlas las de todos ustedes. James. Vaya, cualquier cosita me llama. Ok. Oh, Daniel, no sé si usted va a escribir. Ay, Sandra. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. ¿Y los niños están por allí? Eh, yes. Luis and Juan. Juan, Juan y Carlos. Uh, yo vi a Luis. Ah, ya. ya sí, no aquí está estaba Luis. Ah, sí, aquí estaba Luis. Ah, va. Yo le digo no. allá. <ríe> Ayer. <ríe> en el grupo grande vi yo a Luis. Okay. You remember the policies, verdad? Yes. 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 Okay. So what you're going to do? So is, so teach. Uh huh. Right. Acuérdense en las policies we were saying about uh, smoking in the company. What happens to you if you smoke in the company? What happens to you if you arrive late? 
or if you don't go to work, what happens to you? ¿Se acuerdan? Estábamos hablando de las policies un día de esto y ustedes mencionaban cuáles eran las políticas de su empresa. Entonces, uh -huh. hoy esas mismas políticas que ustedes escribieron la vez pasada, hoy las pueden ocupar para decirme qué sucede si yo no me dan ganas de ir a trabajar un día. Como, la, como las consecuencias, Tichu. Ajá, exacto. Entonces usted dice, if, uh -huh, if, I, if I don't go to work, what happens? ¿Qué me hacen a mí if I don't go to work? Entonces, eso es lo que van a decir ahora. Pueden usar if y pueden usar when. Ya saben que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Um, ¿Sí? If I, I put, if I arrive late to work, what happens to you if you arrive late to work? If I arrive late, I receive a warning. Mm -hmm. Yes. If I arrive late to work, I receive a warning. Oral or written? Es que le dicen oral, pero no las dan escritas. Ah, y, las tenemos, y las tenemos que firmar. Ah, pues no, entonces eso no es oral, eso es written. Uh -huh. Ok. Bah, ya saben, lo que hace el párrafo es que en vez de escribir una oración y, y que, quedarme a media línea y pasarme a la siguiente, es seguir en esa misma línea escribiendo la siguiente. Eso es lo que me hace un párrafo. Oye. Ok. Vaya, voy a ver, cualquier cosa me llama. Sí. Yes, thank you. Ok. Pero, pero, pero el, ¿y el if? Después de esto. Ajá, por eso está. Ahorita right, voy a ver. Sería, porque sería, digamos sería. Eh, in, my, uh, in my, in my work company. Oh, my, work. Ah, ahí depende. In When? my workplace. Ajá. In my workplace. When. When. When going es entrar, ¿verdad? Ajá. Es que como allí desde que uno entra ya va por... Supuestamente ah, contra el equipo, ¿verdad? Ajá, en mi compañía. Así es. When, que es cuando. En mi workplace. When, 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 when I enter the plant. When I enter, ajá. I enter. When, when vaya, I acuérdense. I enter acuérdense. the plant. Hello. Hello, hello. Hola, Hola. Hola sí, teacher. Vaya, acuérdense que me están usando el when como significado de if. When como significado de if. Eh, if, no is, if. If, ah, if, perdón. If, if, ajá. Ajá. If. Vaya, so, ¿qué pasa cuando usted entra a su compañía sin equipo? Me molestan. Ok. No la dejan entrar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, o sea, bien. La regresan. Uh -huh. Ok. Vaya. Entonces aquí no pudiéramos poner in my workplace when I enter the plant. ¿Cómo no? When I enter the plant, ¿qué más? When I enter the plant, I have to change my shoe in put a box. O sea que tiene que cambiarse el, antes de entrar a la planta, tiene que Ajá. cambiarse los zapatos y ponerse el box. Ajá, exacto. Ajá, sí lo hemos puesto en, en my, my shoes. Ajá, en my company, when I enter the plant, I have to change I have my to shoes. Wear, I have to wear special shoes. I, ah, wear. I, have, to I have to wear special shoes. I have to wear special shoes. Uh, oh, I have to wear special shoes. Yeah. Zapatos especial. Ah, hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Special, special sí, shoes. Special shoes. Ah, okay. Vaya. If. Y allí, y allí pudiéramos poner el if, teacher. 
No, no está diciendo que el buen. Que pueden el... usar if o when. Por ejemplo, ah. si usted dice, if I want to enter, I if I want to enter to certain areas in my company, I have to wear special shoes. Porque me imagino que no en todas las áreas, ¿verdad? Sino que en algunas más específicas. O every plant específicamente, ¿verdad? Ajá, en algunas ah, áreas. Sí. Ah, la usted puede decir, if I want to enter to some specific areas in my company, I have to wear special shoes. Y ahí, en vez de ir, puede usar when. Entonces, lo que ustedes tienen que ver es que el significado no cambia aunque usted ocupe ir o where. O sea, que pueden usarse sí. los dos. No, no. O sea, que se pueden usar los dos. Se puede usar Ajá. cualquiera de los dos. Ajá, no los exacto. dos. No, que... no los dos. Cualquiera Ajá. de los dos. Right? Exacto. O sea, por ejemplo, ahorita yo ocupamos when. Ajá, ya no pone ahí. ir porque ya puso when. Exacto. Vaya, otra cosita. Ajá. Recuerden vale, si que como estamos, coma, hacia, como estamos haciendo un parrafito, si usted le quedó uh -huh. la primera versión en la primera línea, en esa misma línea sigue con la otra. Ajá, va ah, a ser continuo. Y se queda Ajá. media, de medias para allá, igual. Exacto. Ajá, no se corta. Okay. Ajá, se no, no se va a la siguiente línea porque es un párrafo. Ajá, porque si no sería como listadito. Exacto, exacto. Uh -huh. Ok. Vaya, entonces, ya nos aclaró eh, una gran duda. Porque según yo, vamos a poner en la misma oración el if y el when. Pero no, para uno y el otro, porque es lo mismo. Ajá, exacto. Es lo mismo. Uh -huh. okay. Usted puede decir, when I enter to my, to my company, I have to wear special shoes. O if I enter to certain areas, uh -huh. in my company, I have to wear special shoes. What happens okay. according to the policies? What happens? Por eso es que decimos, ¿qué pasa si hago o si no hago? So, what happens if you don't wear special shoes? Usted dice, if I don't have special boots, I cannot enter. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí pudiéramos poner... Eh, si, si no los uso, no entro. Ajá. If I don't have a special shoes, I cannot enter certain areas. O I cannot enter the plant. Ajá, puede ser así, de que si no usa el, el, este, el calzado adecuado, no puede ingresar a la no planta. No puede entrar, exacto. Ajá. Ok, sí, así es. Uh -huh. Ajá, se puede poner de la dos formas. Sí. Sí, ustedes deciden si quieren Vaya. usar IFO, si quieren Vaya. usar WEN. Este sí. Bueno. Y para, para no aburrirse, se puede usar los dos. Sí. Ajá. Sí. Sí. Uno ocupa IF y en otro puede ocupar WEN. Bueno. Exacto. Vaya, los dejo. Sí. Cualquier cosa me llaman hoy. Sí, gracias, Tichet. Gracias, Tichet. Sí. Gracias. Mm -hmm. We we the boss can despedirlo. ¿Cómo se dice? O lo pueden despedir. If... Es motivo de despido, pero el Ajá. No sabía que estaba la tichera aquí. <ríe> Mire qué barbaridad. Si tengo un segundo de estar aquí y hasta ahorita me, me da recording in progress. <ríe> Ay, por eso dije, tichera, no sabía que estaba aquí. <ríe> sí, porque cabal, cuando yo entro dice recording in progress. Yo hice como... Qué barbaridad. Y reason for... For fighting. Es motivo. Oh, fight. ¿Cómo se dice, Tichel? Es motivo de despido. Of fighting. It's a, it's a reason for fighting someone. 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 It's a reason. A reason. No sé, es con doble S, reason, Tichel. Reason. It's a reason no. for fighting no. someone. Creo que es una S nada más. Es una S. 
a reason for fighting some. Fighting, I see. It's a reason for okay. fighting some. Mm -hmm. I R E D. Fighting, I see. E D. Fighting, F I R I N G. F I R I R N G. F I R F I R N G. F I R F I F R R I N G. I N G. Fighting. Feeding, escribe, sí, fighting someone. Ah, uh, the reason for fighting someone. Fighting someone. Okay. Other. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. ¿Qué otra podría ser? Okay. Eh, también como evitar, sí. de com evitar comer durante la oficina. Ajá, en la oficina. Pero... Also, yo que... Pero, ¿qué le hacen si, si comen en la oficina? Bueno, no dicen nada. Bueno, en mi es sí. como prohibición, siento yo, no es como política. Ajá. No, pero, pero si tú comes eh, en la oficina, eh, como que das mal ejemplo hacia tu usuario, no sé. Papá, Especially if somebody is a receptionist, right? Mm -hmm. A receptionist cannot be eating. Eating. Um. Ahí ven, lo veo con ganas de decirnos algo. <laughs> <laughs> eh, yo he formulado una, compañero. Si quiere, la puede. Ah, se, la, se la voy a decir y si pues hay que modificarla, lo modificamos. Es eating of right, right is not owing in the office because it's called dumps the equipment. 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 Uh, exact, exactly. Es como, es como la que estábamos diciendo. Exacto, sí, sí, es casi que igual. Si que es, come... prohibido, es como prohibido comer o beber porque puede dañar un equipo uh -huh. y te va a tocar pagarlo, pues. Así <risa> <risa> uh, okay. no se puede poner así como si daña un equipo. If you, if we... Uh -huh. sí. If you damage. And if we if you damage damage as damage as it comes to the damage if you damage the equipment the equipment the equipment equipment If we damage the equipment, we... what happens to you if you damage the equipment? We had to pay it. We uh, have to pay it. We, we could. Or debes. Sería could. Uh -huh. We could. No, porque puede es que si podría pagarlo. Debe. Se could. Pero yes. ajá, exacto. Si debes yes. pagarlo es así como. Yes. Sure. We have to. We have to pay. You have to pay it. We have to pay the equipment. Mm -hmm. We have 
pay it. To pay it. Have to pay it. To pay it. 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 Okay. You have to pay it. Pay it. Um, what else? Uh, uh, um. Tal mm, vez el equipo de vestimenta. Dress code. ¿Cómo? El tipo de vestimenta. Y como... De clothing. Uh -huh. If you... Wearing. No sabría cómo formular. <risa> <risa> Se me fue la idea. No, pero sí creo que se la logré agarrar, pero sería, o tal vez se podría poner algo como que si es, uh, si es un empleado administrativo, uh -huh. We debe, have to wear. debe usar ropa formal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You don't wear a uniform. Do you have to wear a uniform? Make it only the t-shirt. Do you have to wear a uniform? Mm, not teacher. No. Ava. With the company is now owing. Mm. Oh, okay. Space and for the song, uh, we can do like the name we have to type it. This is it. We have to pay it also. Y 
Y eso, y eso lo, lo va lo va a compartir ¿sí? el carro. Y, y este Sandra entraría. If What? I don't respect my coworker, I get a correction. I get a correction. Get... A correction. A, a warning. A warning. Uh -huh. But. A warning. Okay. Sí, no me viene a la mente que otra. Que... Hello. En el caso de nosotros, en el que los dio trabajo, es por ejemplo, I, if I do not wear a uniform, I get ten dollar off. What? Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> if you don't wear a uniform. Yes. Y el dólar nos quitan si no llevamos uniforme. <laughs> Está feo. Ana tío gana lo que me Ana tío gana uno y que le quiten 10 dólares, está fregado. Lo que pasa es que hay compañeros que tienen uniforme y no llevan uniforme porque no, de acuerdo, están Entonces pusieron eso amor al jefe mayor. Pero sí, Imagínate en una área de la carrera se lo olvida. Lleve listo los 10 dólares. Y se le olvida cuatro veces a la semana. Muy solo la semana. Claro,
Sandrita iba a poner el, el, el párrafo como estado, como uniendo las palabras ahí. ¿Perdón? Va, va a presentar la, lo que más por WhatsApp. Yo la escribí en mi cuaderno y he hecho una sola mancha con. Okay. Hello, teacher. Oh, hola, hola, teacher. Hola, Silvia. Hello. Ay, 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 Yo voy manejando. Voy okay. manejando. Tenemos que hacer la presentación. Oh. You will read? Read. Ah, ok. Yeah. Uh. Teacher, when in the when you have an inability, you and don't go to work. A sick leave. What? A sick leave. A sick leave. Sick leave. Así se llama. Mm. La sick leave. Mm -hmm. That's the sick leave, la que le dan cuando dicen, ok, no puede trabajar. Mm -hmm. ah. Y hay multas, si usted se va a trabajar así, hay multas. Yes. Por eso es que las compañías respetan que incapacitado vayas. Que si no, las compañías pueden pagar un multa. Pero no todas. Bueno, eso fue lo que me dijo Juan. Que no todas, ¿qué? Aceptan las incapacidades médicas. Ah, pues sí, porque no las han descubierto. Las maquilas. Las maquilas, la maquila, lamentablemente, no respetan. ¿Verdad? Porque sí deberían también cumplir con ese aspecto. En incapacidad, eh, uh -huh. no puede trabajar. Okay. Pero no, no respeta incapacidad, tampoco le respetan. Eh, consulta, digamos. Usted uh -huh. tiene que necesita ir al doctor, pero ellos le pueden decir, no, no va a ir porque tiene mucho trabajo. Pero, uh -huh. pero no es uh -huh. Eso no es legal. Yo recuerdo cuando estaba embarazada, va mi control de embarazo. En diciembre, cuando sea la cita de diciembre, solo. Me dijo el doctor, lo que pasa es que a la gente de maquilas no la dejan venir a consumir. Entonces en diciembre pierden su control del mes de diciembre. Porque no lo ah, Más en diciembre. Vuelvo en un momento, permítame. Okay. Entonces, ajá, es, 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 es algo bien complicado, pues, porque no debería de ser. ¿Verdad? Ah. No debería de ser, pero sí. Así me toca, dicho. Vaya, ¿cómo vamos allí? Yo digo que más o menos. Ya estamos bien. ¿Cuánto tenemos que hacer, dicho? Un parrafito, un párrafo. Que... <risa> parrafito más o menos, ¿de qué tamaño? Parrafito de unas cuantas oraciones. Ah, pues, ¿cuántas llevo? ¿Siete líneas tiene? Ay, Dios, no venía la mitad. Ah, <risa> ay, no les creo, hagan la letra más grande. <risa> sí, que eso, justamente eso pensé, sí. That's, 18, 18, that, that's what, what children do, right? That they make the, the letter bigger so they can have enough. So they complete with the, with the whole paragraph that they need to.
Te echo el digamos que... Si en una parte pido un permiso de dos horas, cuenta eso como un permiso. Digamos una hora antes de... de pero no es... Justo, como le dijera. Ajá, pero es una permisión. Ah, sí, cuenta como permiso entonces. Sí, sí, it applies like a permission. Ok. Because you're taking some extra, extra time. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Voy a, a, a pronunciar, a ver un párrafo que tengo aquí, me, me corrige alguna pronunciación. Ok. Eh, well, I am ready for war. I am talking. I uh, am, if it happens, I, I uh, against. I will sing or I won. El otro es... Memorando, dice ahí. A memo. Eh, lo, memo, sí. A memo. Uh -huh. Memo. A memo. Ah, y la otra, I when I face for food in the office, a warning memo. I memo. I get a memo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When I take food to the office, I get a memo. Uh -huh. yeah. Y la última es la que le mencioné, que es don't word uh, only for, I, I get... Uh, $10. Oh. A discount or you have to pay in the moment? Yeah. Eso sería lo que yo tengo. Okay. Con letra 18. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the, the whole Nada mal. paragraph. <laughs> All the seven lines complete. Yeah. Arial 18. <clears throat> Arial Narro, ¿verdad? <laughs> bueno, let's go. Let's go, let's go. So you chair. Okay, vamos a ver. 30 segundos. Um, Estoy destrozando mi zapatera. Vale, let's see, 11, 10 seconds. We will go in order, right? Group number one, Cecilia, Daniel, Karen, Manuel, and Silvia. Who will chair? Who will chair group number one? Cecilia, Daniel, Karen, Manuel, Silvia, Inés. Hicimos prácticamente una cada uno. Le voy a leer la mía, no sé si estará bien. Va, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, pues, if... Uh, ah, la completa, sí, sí. Ay, no le tomé captura todo lo demás y se me borró. Ay, sí, 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 sí. sí. <ríe> Vaya. If a uh, employer, he comes, play three times, fill out a memo. Ok. Vaya, güey, güey, güey. Ahí me le falta un par de, de, de articles. If employees, if employees get laid three times in a row, ¿verdad? Tres veces seguidas. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya? Sí. Oh. Ajá, they get a meme. Ok. Vaya, Manuel, usted tomó los demás. Vaya, only one, Ceci. Yes. Manuel tiene las otras, creo. Eh, dice, no smoking if you are on working hours. Ok. Don't smoke, eh, entonces. 
Don't smoke if you are in working out. Yes. What do you when were the late for work? If I am late for work, I call and report my boss. Okay. And if I'm if an employee is constantly late for work. Is constantly late. ¿Cómo se, cómo se lee? Is constantly late. Okay. Is constantly late for work mm -hmm. with food, a valid reason. Disciplinary action may be taken. May be taken. Okay. When for when we forget the uses of ferry, equipment, and plowing work we room the risk Wait. of an accident. Manuel, 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 Manuel. Hola. Trate de guardarme el ritmo porque se me está tirando palabras sueltas, no le capto. Trate de guardarme el ritmo de la oración para, para comprenderle qué es lo que me está diciendo. Pero me tengo que estar todo. If voy a quitar el micrófono para lo que se haya cortado o no, mm -hmm, exactly. Creo que Carmen me podría ayudar en ese aspecto. O le ayudo con esta oración. Por favor, porque no sé si es esto. Dele, no, ya hoy, hoy sí se le oye bien. Se le oye mejor sin el micrófono. Solo con el de la compu. Vaya, dele, dele, Manuel. Teacher, I, I had the um, when we forget to use a safety equipment in public work, we run the risk of an accident. And if we receive a warning, and we receive a warning, yes. Ya me habían usado if al principio. No when. Ah, when we forget. Okay, una cosa, recuerden que podemos usar when reemplazando if. O si ocupa when, no ocupa if. Si ocupa if, no ocupa when. En okay. la misma oración no puede usar los dos. And only no, say the reason, only say the risk of accident and we receive a warning. Ajá, that? exactly. Okay. Sí, sí, sí. Solo o, o when o if, porque acuérdense que significan lo mismo. En este, oh, okay. en este, en este, ¿cómo se llama? Conditional. When okay. puede sustituir if sin cambiarle el significado. Entonces es exactamente lo mismo. Entonces no es como que me estuviera poniendo if dos veces en la misma oración. ¿Verdad? Entonces oh, okay. solo ocupan o when o if. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, thank you. Any other, eh, are you missing something else? No, teacher, that's all. Okay, thank you. El group number two, Carlos Alfredo, Juan Antonio, Luis Enrique, Sandra, Silvia. Who will speak? Sandra. Hello. Okay, Sandra, go ahead. If I arrive late to work, I receive a warning, written. A written warning. A uh, written warning, sorry. Sí. A written warning. Bueno. When you have a facility, you don't go to work. If you smoke at work, you don't respect the policies. Mm -hmm. If I don't my job, if I don't, I, 
If I don't my job. Me le falta un verbo. Juan. <laughs> Será if I don't do. Uh, if, if I. If I don't. Sí, do. es tú. Do, do, ¿verdad? Sí, Ajá, sí, porque acuérdense que do. el don't es el auxiliar y el do es el verbo. Me lo comí, Sandra, cuando se lo dije. Tiene hambre. <risa> <risa> Tiene hambre. Ok, if I don't do my job. I, re I receive a call of attention. Ok. Le sale barato. Yes. <risa> If I eat in the office, I I don't comply with the prohibition. I don't comply. 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 Yeah, porque complain es queja, ¿verdad? Comply. Sorry, comply. comply. I don't comply. The prohibition. Prohibition. Prohibition, yes. With the prohibition? To okay. my work. Um, I don't know the other Carlos. Esas, I don't breathe. When I, Carlos, when you forget use the uniform, wear the uniform. Ah, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Carlos, are you there? He's gone. Se <laughs> fue, Carlos. Oh, aquí estoy ahorita. <laughs> Carlos, what happens when you don't wear your uniform? Yeah, okay, uniform ten, ten dollar. <laughs> Imagine. Can you believe it? If you don't wear the uniform, you have to pay ten dollars. As a, as a fine. Eso sería como multa, ¿verdad? As a fine. Ok, no, yo por eso ya lo lavé para ponerme el mañana. <laughs> <laughs> ok, very good. Thank you. Welcome. Now, let's see. Eh, group 3, Jorge, Ka Clarixa, Isaías, Ivette. Y... Hola. Clarixa goes. Vaya, pues. Hola, hola, Ticha. Ok. Hola, este, bueno, nosotros... Es... Hola, teacher. Aquí estoy con mascarilla porque estoy un poco indispuesta de, de la gripe. A ver si me oye. Hasta allá, hasta aquí no llega. Eh, ok. <risa> <risa> Vaya. Eh, uh, dice, I am, I am my company when I enter the plant. I have to wear special shoes if I am light to the company. How to replenish the time. You have I to can not take personal. Replace. ¿Sí? You have to make up. Replen make up. Make up. Make up. Sí, porque replace es como reemplazo. ¿Verdad? Uh, Yo reemplazo uh -huh. esto por esto. Pero ahí make up. está reponer. Es you make up the time. Ajá. Uh -huh. Have to make. Make up. Make up. Make up. Sí. Detail. Make up detail. Make up ah, vale. lo va a reponer. Ay, que o sea, no yo llegué 10 te... minutos tarde. Ajá, diez va a reponer la hora. Ajá, exacto. Ajá. Voy a salir más, más tarde. Uh -huh. Vaya, yo no puedo, I can, perdón, take personal call when I am on the scene to or Igual if I, I need I need to leave the company I the most request a personal permit from my immediate boss. When visitor arrive and the plant, the, the most will are reflective with an helmet. Wait, wait, wait. When, they, when visitors visit the plant, they have to wear what? The, uh, when visitor arrive at the plant, they must mm -hmm. wear a reflective with and the helmet. A reflective, reflective web. What do you mean by reflective and the webs? Eh, aquí deberíamos de el ecotiche usar ah, eh, yes. eh, cascos reflectivos. Vest. 
A reflective vest and a helmet. A helmet. And a helmet. That's for and helmet. A helmet. Okay. okay. Uh, when a helmet, when did you live where everyone must be back review, reviewed? A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. A ver. When, no, when did you live? When you live. Uh, when you live uh -huh. where everyone must be back re reviewed. Review. Uh, when you leave the company. When you leave the company. Uh -huh. The company, everyone. No, you. Must be... You, you. You. Porque si el que se va es usted, usted es el que tiene que hacer qué. Uh -huh. You must be past review. Cuando ya se va, tiene que pasar a revisión. Mm, you must be revised or check. Ajá, uh, the most, the, ajá. Uh, you must be checked. Ay, no, you, qué feo. You must be checked. Where? In the entrance? You must be checked. Who checks you? The supervisor? O, o the one in the entrance? Um, supervisor okay. supervisor porque es una revisión que en general ya cuando, cuando va a salir Qué feo. aunque hay en empresas que el vigilante lo hace ya Ajá, cuando sale uh -huh. ahí what what depende de la empresa si el survivor o el vigilante uh -huh. pero igual que feo verdad sí pero me imagino que que depende de la empresa verdad por ejemplo, el de nosotros dependiendo de la empresa ajá. Ajá. es por el tipo de producto que a veces se, se, se fabrica I see. aunque es incómodo al principio verdad pero you get used to it. se siente rata ay cabal rata uno ya yeah. yeah. it's like when you get a camera in your workplace the first time is horrible Later on, you get used to it, but at the beginning, it's like you feel every but every time somebody's watching you, and you get at the end, you get like, nah. but but at the beginning, it's, it's horrible. It's like if somebody's watching me, if I do something, somebody's watching me, so it's it's very ugly. Uh, we have cameras where I work during the day and, and it's very disgusting because uh, it doesn't matter where you go you know the camera is there <laughs> right but at the end at the end you feel like ah. and anyway what can i do but at the beginning is is difficult right at the beginning is okay very... teacher. okay thank you clarissa thank you very much we miss okay, one group Eric, Claudia, Erika, Ivan y Jonathan. Yes, teacher. Go. Okay. If we want request a day off, we coordinate with your partner and we send the mail to, to the boss. Okay. Also, when we want to have a meeting, should we do between 9 a.m. to 10 a.m.? Another rule is if we want to use a cell phone, we can use on free time and we and we shut up. I call my boss. Also, if an employee comes drunk, it's a reason for fighting someone. And if we damage the equipment, we have to fight, pay it. It's important to know if there are romans in the company is not allowed. And finally, if an operative employee, if an operative employee you need wear a uniform. Okay, I'm curious. So you said romances in the company are not allowed. What happens? Because that always happens, right? There is always somebody who has 
have an affair with another partner or another colleague. What happens if the boss knows that there is an affair in the company? What happens? Mm, maybe say break up. Huh? Break. ¿Qué, ¿Qué le pasa? Mm. Maybe they receive um, a, warning. A, a, warning. a warning. A warning. A warning. Yes. But they are not fired. Mm -hmm. So only a warning. Well, it depends on the type of relationship, on the type of affair, right? I have known of companies where they fire one, no, the two, one. So one goes out and they keep only one. Does it happen in your company? No. No? In the university change, it change the one of them. If, if they work together in the library, one of them goes uh, to another and area and another they move area. them to another area but they don't fire them yes. ah, okay that's better yes <laughs> yeah Only because they fight when the couples fight ah. in the university ah, um, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. yeah, because that would be a problem the couple making a big mess discussing because they were angry right and they do that in public right it damage the image of the company i imagine that that's that's the main reason why they don't like to have uh, relationships romantic relationships just in movies not in the workplace <laughs> okay thank you very very good okay now go back Let's see. Go, go, go. Thank you. You see me, you were very productive. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uy, pero ya no veo mi presentation. Okay, well, we will move to the rest. Just give me a second. Es un taperezoso de buscarme en la PPT. No, que yo match. The presentation is heightened. Sombra. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
¡Qué barbaridad! Ya no quiere, teacher. No, hombre. Es que no hay... De las de... Ay. Aquí está. ¡Qué barbaridad! Va, ahí está. ¿Y qué es eso? ¿Dónde ando? Va, ahí está. Check. Do you usually request for permission? Yesterday you told me that not very often, right? That whenever, whenever you ask for permission, do you request a permission form? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I have. Uh, okay. A form. You, you have to complete a form. And who is yes. the last yes, person? I do. Yes, I do. Permission or? Yes, I do. And who is the last person who signs your form? In my case, my boss. Okay. My boss. Immediate, immediately boss. You, the immediate boss. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. Now look at this. We have a mini, 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 mini conversation with, that we are going to read today. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hang. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Apenas entrando ya quiere pedir permiso. Qué bárbaro. The first day of work. Where can I ask for permission? Okay. Um, sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay. Imagine. What was the first thing you asked for? The first time you arrived to the work to the place where you work now. What was the first thing you asked for? Do you remember? What can I ask for permission? What was the first thing you asked for? Where is the cafeteria? Oh, where is the cafeteria? Okay, <laughs> perfect. Okay. What about the others? What was the first thing you asked for? Um, what time is the lunch time? What time is the oh. lunch? What time is the break? The ah, break. Do we have a break? <laughs> and where is the bathroom? Where is the bathroom? Do we have a break here? What time do we leave? Okay. What exactly do I have to do? Right? So those are some things that you can ask when you're new in a company. Okay, now repeat after me. Good afternoon, Ashley. Good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to our company. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Heng. Thank you, Mr. Heng. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? Do you know the No, not yet, sir. No, 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 what about how to Sounds good. I will explain good. them to you first. Sounds, Sounds good. good. I, I, I will explain, explain them to you first. first. Okay, good, good. Now check. We have a form, right? We have a form when we want to ask for a permission. Check the form. But before we go to the form, let's answer this question. We have Ashley. Who is Ashley? Yeah, Who's Ashley? It's a new employee. A new employee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ashley is a new employee. Mm -hmm. Who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright. 
Mr. Wright. And what about in your company? In your company, who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to, to the rest of the colleagues? Human resources. Human resources, right? So they are supposed to, to tell the people what to do and to take them around the company, right? Showing them the place and the partners. And to tell you, hey, look, this is a new colleague for you, right? This is Mr. Pedrito Perez. He will be working with you. He will be in this area. But sometimes we see people and we go like, who's this? Because they were never introduced, right? So we don't know who they are. But that's very important that you, uh, that somebody introduces the new people to us. Okay. Now, check these requests. Right, that we that we use when we want to know something. How do I? Can you show me how to? Can you show me how to complete a form, for example? Can you show me how to uh, ask for permission? Do you know how do I? go to the next office, right? What do you suggest about, and you can ask the topic that you wanna suggest you to. What is the first step to complete a form? What is the first step to ask for permission? First, you have to go to the human resources area and then you can ask there for a form, okay? What is the best way to ask for a permission? What is the best way to report um, an absence? If you were absent, right? Now, when you give instructions, that, that was the form or that was the way of somebody asking for help or asking for what to do in different situations. But then you have to give instructions, right? Then you say, well, you often see the, uh, you see the imperative or the instructions, how to give instructions in manuals, right? And you know, in the policies that we have in our company, those are a list of instructions that they tell us, well, first thing you have to do is this. So they give you instructions, how you have to behave in the company and what are the things that you have to do. Without that, the company goes like from one side to the other without direction. Right, that's very important to follow steps, to follow procedures, and to follow directions. Remember, uh, during this unit or the during this, uh, well, the rest of the course, we were also talking about sequencing words, and sequencing words are these ones, right? So you can say first, second, then next, after that, finally. Or you can say firstly, secondly. If you have only three instructions, finally. If no first, secondly, next, then after that, and finally. So it will depend on the on the number of instructions that you have. Okay. Now look at these instructions. These are instructions for replacing a light bulb. So you say, firstly, turn off the electricity. Secondly, remove the light bulb. Then screw in the new light bulb. Finally, turn the electricity on and switch on the light. You can also say after that instead of then, right? Or you can say first or second instead of first and secondly. Remember what we were saying. So first, you can say first, turn off the electricity, second, remove the light bulb. Uh, after that, skew the, the new light bulb, finally, 
20 electricity on. Tell me, Cecilia. Miss, ¿qué significa history? Firstly, primeramente. Okay. Uh -huh. That's why you can say firstly or, or first is the same. So you say firstly do this or first do this. Porque es lo mismo. Cualquiera de las dos que usted quiera ocupar está bien. Y puede usar okay. then o puede usar after that. O puede usar next. También no hay problema. Lo que sí tiene que tener cuidado es que cuando va a dar instrucciones y va a seguir una secuencia en su instrucción, tiene que usar este tipo de palabras para que no sirven para dar los, los, las steps a seguir. Ok. When we, are, uh, we want to catch people's attention, we say, remember... Remember to turn off the electricity be touch, before touching the cage. Be careful. Yeah. Be careful not to touch any live wires. Try to see if the light bulb is broken. Eso es cuando usted está dando instrucciones, pero quiere dar instrucciones como, como a, a llamar más la atención. Right? Try not to touch the light bulb with your hands. You need to check the wattage of the light bulb first, right? So here I'm giving extra help. I can just say first do this, then do the other. Pero si yo quiero hacerle como más énfasis, verdad? Le digo, hey, remember to check the electricity first, right? Hey, be careful. Not to touch. Cheque, que cuando usamos negative decimos not to. Try not to, right? Try not to touch light bulbs with your hands. Eh, try not to... Mm, not to change the light bulb without removing the energy from the cables, right? Now, we can also use these words. It's important to make sure the electricity is off. It is important. Estoy dando una recomendación sin, ser, eh, sin decir, hey, you must do this. No, it is important to do it. ¿Verdad? It is important. I'm, I'm catching your attention to that. And I say, it is important to make sure the electricity is off. It helps to wait for the light bulb to cool down before you remove it. Be sure to turn off the electricity before you touch the light bulb. Always, for example, in la compañía de, de Rosie, always wear special boots before entering the plant. Always. ¿Verdad? Never yeah. touch a socket with wet hands. Never enter the plant without a helmet. Entonces, estas son palabras, digamos, claves que podemos utilizar para dar instrucciones extra sobre lo que ustedes hacen en su compañía para guardar la seguridad, ¿verdad? O para seguir las policies que ya mencionábamos allí antes. ¿Alguna preguntita acá? ¿Questions? No questions. No, ¿verdad? No, please. Ok. Now, esas eran como palabras como para llamar la atención, digamos, de, de, de la gente hacia las instrucciones que yo le voy a dar. Ahora, ¿qué verbos ocupo yo para dar instrucciones? Por ejemplo, turn on. Switch on. ¿Se acuerdan? Switch. Sí. Switch on y switch off. Switch on. Switch on. Y, y, y switch off. Switch on. Switch no era otro. Sí. Switch on. El on es cuando you activate the power, ¿verdad? O de electricidad. Es como que le enciende. Le enciende, exacto. Y switch off es lo mismo que turn off. Y you deactivate Ajá. the power o de electricidad. Ajá. 
For example, if you if you are the first one arriving to your workplace, you have to switch on the power. But if you are the last one leaving, you have to switch off the electricity or the power. ¿verdad? Especially with the electric storms that we're having, it's not a good idea. Sí. It is important not to. So, recuerdan las palabras que acabamos de ver. It is important not to leave the electricity on. Okay. That is to avoid uh, problems with the electricity while nobody in the office, right? Check, take off or remove, detach. That means detach something from another thing. Desconectar, that's take off or remove. To remove the plastic before you put the meal in the microwave. Ha, remove the, imagine if it is covered with papel aluminum, right? With aluminum per paper. Remove the aluminum paper before you put it in the microwave oven. Yes? Attach or connect. That is to put two things together. So you connect the wires, so you attach the wires. Cheque, que aquí van unos que son como opposites, ¿verdad? Turn on, opposite of turn off. Switch on es opposite of switch off. Y tenemos eh, take off o remove, que sería opposite of connect. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Estos son verbos nuevos para ustedes. Any questions? Question. No questions. No questions. Now we have some more verbs. Check. Check means to be sure about something, right? So you can say, check that the light is on. For example, when you're giving instructions uh, to people that have bought uh, some equipment, right? And they want to use it, but it doesn't work because they haven't connected it. Then you can say, uh, check that it is connected first. Check that it is connected. No va a funcionar si no está conectado, ¿verdad? So make sure that it is connected. You can also say eh, proceed or continue. Eso significa continue to steer until make sure it is. Continue. Go ahead. Go on. Right? That's proceed or continue. ¿Qué significa plugin? Plug in. Mm -hmm. Plug in. Enchufar. Conectar. Connect. You have to be sure that it is connected, that it is plugged in, right? It is plugged in. Put back. Means replace. ¿Se acuerdan? Alguien me dijo replace en la oración y yo le dije, mm, no, porque replace es reemplazar. O, in this case, put back. Yeah. So I took something, I will replace it, I will put it again. Any question here, chicos? No. No. Es el replace. Replace. Ok, bye. ¿Y por qué no está poniendo okay. todo eso la teacher? Porque aquí tenemos las procedures, right? Eh, what are some procedures for requesting for permission? Vámonos allá arriba. That is page 44. Page 44. First 
print the request form that is available on the internet. Sí, for the form. Second, fill out the form. Third, write the reason for the permission. Fourth, write the time and day you will be absent. Next, specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. Then, ask for the department manager signature. After that, present the form at the human resources office. Next, the human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. And finally, if the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is given. Okay, that is a in this company, que feo, a lot of a lot of steps. You have nine steps to ask for a permission, right? But in real life, good that is not like that. Oh, sí. no, How many of these steps do you follow to request for a permission in your company? Hmm? How many? Huh? How many of these steps do you have to follow to request for a permission? Cuantos? Todos? No, verdad? No estamos por allí, ya nos fuimos. How many of these steps do you have to follow when you need to request a permission? No creo que toda, ¿verdad? No. ¿Cuántas? ¿Cuáles de ellas? Maybe three teacher. Okay. ¿Cuáles? Feel out the form. Uh -huh. Write the time and day you will be asked. What about and... the reason? Do you need to give the to write the reason? No, I don't need to write the reason. You don't need to write the reason. Okay. Look, and look. then present the form at the human resource. And, and wait. It. Okay. But they will give you the permission, or they they have some situations when they say no. No, they they always give me. The they permission. always give it to you. Okay, nice, nice, right? But now check what you're going to do here in this part is make a list of situations in which you could request permission. For example, uh, having a graduation of you graduating. It can be your graduation of your son's graduation. Mm -hmm. that? Going to a funeral of somebody from the family. But you, you write the others, right? Vamos a ver. We don't have much time, so we will do it here. A ver, what are the situations? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to write the situation, and then we will wedding. compare. Uh -huh. A wed uh, wedding. A wedding. Mm -hmm. A ver. Wedding. Is that a good reason for being absent? Si es su wedding, yes. y si es la de alguien más, podemos ir, podemos ir a la wedding o tenemos que ir a trabajar. Go to the wedding. You can go to the wedding. Yes. Ajá. Well, another reason. I ask permission when it's my birthday. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> bueno, I don't work on my birthday. 
I have a day off. ¿Y sabe por qué? Why teacher? It is on vacation. Because it is on vacation. I know a company where they don't work the day of the birthday. They have a day off, but because the company gives them a day off when it is their birthday. That's nice. Okay, so for your birthday. En todos los lugares, a todos les dan permiso para su cumpleaños, que no vayan a trabajar. No. No. Oh, no, teacher. No, vaya, quisiéramos. ¿Está de libre cómo se dice, yes. teacher? ¿Ah? Yo sí. ¿De la tarde? Permiso. What did Friday. you mean? Cuando solo es que dan media, mediodía. Part-time. Part-time, okay. Part es el permiso de cumpleaños. Ah, really? Vaya, pero pues sí, por lo menos. Algo es algo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. What about the others? It's your birthday, can you be off? No, sure. I work Family. all day. Oh, <laughs> no way. Solo le no. pasan diciendo happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay another reason. For, um? for family mourning. Okay, funeral. Funeral. Mm -hmm. Funeral. Pero si es de alguien de la familia, si no, no, verdad. Okay. Sí. Okay. Ajá. Another one. Hmm. Por motivos de salud, teacher. Ah, ok, por anillos. Illness. Por anillos. Another reason. Another one. One more. Porque juega la selecta. Ay, la selecta. Y <risa> peor <risa> la selecta. Ajá. Maternidad también o paternidad. No sé. <risa> maternidad. Bien. ¿Cómo diríamos maternidad? Ajá. O permiso por lactancia también. Ah, exacto. A new baby born. Tell me, Cecilia. Eh, Miss, eh, ¿hay una tercera? ¿Son dos L o...? Sí, son dos, pero una me quedó rarita. Este es okay. Y este es Ajá, por a new baby born. ¿Cuántos días tienen los hombres hoy de, de libre? Tres. 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 ¿Para qué, verdad? <ríe> qué mal. Pues sí. <ríe> pues sí, para que la pobre mujer acaban de tener el bebé le esté dando de comer. No. ¿Verdad? Sandra. Vaya. So, yes. but three days it's okay. Let's suppose that is for taking the woman out from the hospital, for going to the mayor's office. And for resting the other day. Before it was only one day. One day, the day when they went to pick up the woman at the hospital, and that was set. And that same day, they had to run to, to the mayor's office to, to, to present the documents of the baby because there was only one day. Okay? Vaya a ver, next part, check. A colleague needs a permission to be absent from your work or from work. 
What you're going to do here is explain to him. Ah, miren, aquí sí lo usaron bien. Ve. Explain to him the procedures in your company and help him or her fill in the form. So we have the name, the date, the reason why you're absent, the manager's signature, the human resources assistant signature. But that. A ver, I need a volunteer. One volunteer to chair. What are the procedures in your company for completing this form? In my case is name, date. Uh -huh. Write the name, complete name. O solo el nombre que me gusta. Ah, pues sí, porque yes, a veces so pasa que este nombre no me gusta, este no me lo pongo, me gusta más mi segundo apellido que el primero. Ajá. Código también, teacher. Código también se pone. The código. código. If you have a code, okay, if you have a code in your company, you have to put it. Okay, what else? The, the days of okay. your... Eh, Reponer el tiempo. But me, so you have three dates then. One, the date you're asking for the permission. Two days after. Or before. Before. Two days before. So you have to write the date you're asking for the permission, the date of the permission. Mm -hmm. The two things. So okay. Yeah. What about the reason? Uh, for me, is I need to when to my I need to go with my mother to the hospital. Okay, that's a good reason. I need to take my mom to the hospital. Okay, mm -hmm. and then after you complete the form, what do you do? Uh, I, I, in this case, I sign the form and my immediately boss, immediately boss signs too. Okay, well. It's not necessary HR assistant. No human resources to complete signing no. the form, not necessary. No. Only is um, in the library. The library? Give me the... Ah, the because permission. you work in the library. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. And nice. then this, this form passed to my personal ex experience, expediente. Uh -huh, experience. Uh -huh. Yes. And I, I put my um, constant... If I go to the hospital. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So you need to ask in the hospital, you need to ask a paper that says yes. that you went to the hospital. Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, okay. Rosie, what do you do? What's your procedure with this permission? Um, a permission... Um, is, como se dice, teacher? Could go to the social security. Uh, after three days, after three days. Before. And before. Um, three days before. Only emergency uh, yeah, is in the moment. Um, oh. But, um, Mom, son, and husband is the priority. That's priority. Yes. Okay, so mom, husband, and children. And children. Okay. And, and the father? And me, and me, and me um, uh, if, if I am sick. And what about the father? No father, Pobisito. 
Mm, I don't fire. I don't no, have no, fire. But in the company, ah, if you have a yes. father. Mom, father, children. Okay. And, and sister, uh, brothers. Okay. So you mm -hmm. can say, I need to take my brother to the hospital, so I need permission. They give yes. information? Uh, yes. Only that. Okay, or only if you are responsible for the person. Or it doesn't matter. Um, no sé cómo decirle. Yo pedía permiso, pero por mis hijos en la escuela. Ajá, ajá. Ajá. Nunca se me negó, pero porque yo siempre regresaba. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. Ajá. Y, y ahí casi no. Okay, who signs the permission in your company, Rosie? Mm. Sería como, como no, no. Who signs? ¿Quién lo firma? The manager? No. Uh, oh, no. Human... Ni manager ni human, human resources. No. ¿Quién? ¿Quién human... firma? The human resources. The human resources science. Okay. Um, uh, the first um, gerente, yes. The gerente. Mm -hmm. El manager. Es que llevo, okay, llevo un montón de firmas. My boss, immediate, uh, the manager, and human resources. Anybody from the accounting area? Mm -hmm. No. They only I, receive the papers signed by everybody uh, to decide if paying or not. Um, I, I, yo lo llevo donde cada uno, como le digo. I carry. I take it to every everyone's office. Okay, I take everyone's office. Everyone's office. Everyone's office. Uh, kids. He, he, o sea, primero me canso para salir. <ríe> ¿Se cansa? Sí, porque hay que andarlo buscando. Ay, sí, sí, sí. No, uh -huh. especially if you are sick and you need to leave and going up and down looking for the, the signature. It's sad. That's really, really sad. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. Bueno, let's go to, let's go home. Let's go to sleep. ¿Verdad? A ver, the last attendance of the day. ¿Qué pasó? Se ha producido un error, dice. Con la lista. Vale, solo que cargue la lista que no vaya a ser. Vamos a ver. A ver, Carlos Alfredo. Presente. Cecilia. Present teacher. Clarixa. Mm. Present teacher. Claudio. Present teacher. Daniel. Tania. Erika. Present teacher. Isaías. Iván. Present. Present. ¿Quién? Iván. Ah, va. <laughs> Okay. Eh, Jonathan. Present teacher. Yes. A mí no me mencionó. ¿A quién Ivette. no? A Ivette. Sí. Oh, so sorry. Yes. Ivette present. Jonathan. Jorge. Present teacher. Okay. Juan. Present. Karen. Present teacher. Luis Enrique. Present. Manuel. Present, Miss. Rosy. 
Present teacher. Andra Elizabeth. Present. Silvia Estela. Present, present teacher. Y Silvia Inés. Present teacher. Ok, nice, nice. Bueno. Si yo tomo otro, espérense que falta medio segundo. No medio minuto. Miren qué puntuales somos. Qué Vaya. Eh, hoy quién se queda conmigo. Creo que yo. Silvia, no ¿Qué? Sandra. Yo. Ah, Sandra. Yo. Sandra. Sandra, ah, sí, porque hoy. Vaya, si Inés se queda como mañana, ¿qué quiere Sandra? Sandra me debe. Ah. <risa> Sandra me escapó el día que le tocaba. ¿Verdad, Sandra? Sí, che. Dígame, Clarisa. Con la tarea 20 quedaríamos hasta ahora. Vaya, Clarisa, fíjese que a nosotros nos están pidiendo nota ya. Yo, de hecho, ya llevé hasta Está lo más posible la actualización, porque a nosotros nos están diciendo, mándenle, díganle a la gente que termine, que termine, que termine. Los que terminan esa semana, que esas listas tienen que estar actualizadas a lo más posible y terminadas. Entonces, este, denle lo más posible hoy, ¿verdad? Me le falta el examen final, Clarixa, únicamente le falta. Ajá. El examen. Sí. Dele lo que pueda alcanzar a hacer hoy, oye, para que así yo ya le puedo ir actualizando y, y si no termina hoy, termina mañana, pero, pero mañana Ay. es el último y ¿verdad? ¿No? Okay. Bien. Gracias, Ticha. Ok, Ceci, tell me, Ceci. Bueno. Es, eh, una pregunta, ¿usted puede ver eh, si ya completamos las horas? Es que como yo creo que falté como una vez, sí, después venía como tarde, no sé si... Tengo completa las horas, el 80% o más. Sí, pero le falta un día. ¿Un qué, perdón? Le falta un día. ¿De qué lo estoy guachando? Asegúrense, asegúrense, vean lo que les mandaron a decir, ¿verdad? No falten ni, ni hoy ni mañana. Bueno, ya no faltaron, muy bien. Este, y me falta mi tarea, mis. No le puedo decir. Complete el día mañana, todo, todo. Okay, sí. Asegúrense de no faltar ni mañana. Hoy. Okay. Ah, miren, mañana, chicos, llenamos. Eh, la, la carta hoy de satisfacción. En, durante el día a usted les va a estar llegando el link para completar. No lo llenen solo, que se lo llenamos acá. ¿Verdad? Ocho y media es la hora asignada para que juntos eh, llenemos el documento. Yo sé que ya después de un rato ustedes ya llenan ¿Eh? varios, ya no les cuesta, pero eh, las instrucciones son que las llenemos juntos. Oye, así por sí, cualquier ya no llegó, cosa. teacher. Ya le llegó, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Ok, entonces no se me adelanten. Ay, mañana lo vamos a reunir juntos. Si quieren sí. hacer algo, o trabajen la plataforma o hagan algún link que, que, que te encuentren por ahí. Pero no llenen, no llenen la encuesta. Esa la vamos a llenar un poquito mañana. Hoy, a las ocho y media. Vaya pues, okay. take care. See you, see you. Good night. 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 See you. Buena suerte, Luis. No se desvele mucho. Gracias, mi. Good night. Good night. Good night. How are you, son? Fine, thanks, teacher, and you? Fine, fine, too. Ready to finish? Ready. <laughs> we, are, we are very, very close to the end. And, well, 
there are many many things right to to check before we finish yeah. but the good thing is that you're complete ahí Silvia Estela me debe todavía el exam muchacho me debe examen final y me debe unidad cuatro ¿Qué me cuenta? Well, I, I feel good uh, with the all the levels to English. Mm -hmm. uh, I, my difficult is to listen. Okay. I, I have a lot of problems with listen and I try to read books in um, for kids. It's, I know it's a basic um, works, but I try to to read. But sometimes I lost. But it's okay. So remember that reading will help you get vocabulary, right? Yes. Yeah. We learn vocabulary, a lot of vocabulary when we read. But if you feel that you need more practice in reading, in listening, sorry, it is important that you make some listening practice. There is a, bueno, there are some, some pages in internet where you can go enter and do some listening. Um, there is one, bueno, Agenda, Agenda Web tiene listening, tiene reading, tiene vocabulary y structure. Then that's a good website for you to practice, right? Also mm -hmm. in the manual, in the manual that we use, you have at the beginning of every lesson, you have two links. And sometimes one of those links is a video. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a listening. In some other cases, it is a, a, ¿cómo se llama? a reading, a reading exercise or a structure or vocabulary. But the purpose of those things is to give you some extra, right? Extra mm -hmm. practice. And that's why I, st I say, uh, the, the audio or the videos that are there can also help you. Unfortunately, we cannot put them in the class and we cannot put the, the videos here mm -hmm. because of YouTube, but, but uh, you have the links in the book. And you can enter the link and do that listening practice. That would help you. Listen okay. to stories. Hay una página que se llama Storyline Online. Story, así de S-T-O-R-Y. Storyline Online. Eh, those are famous people reading stories. For mm. children. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you can be listening to there. That will help you also because that's like extra practice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because listening, you don't have problems for speaking, but listen and doing listening practice will give you more security. Mm -hmm. And like when you read, you get more skills for writing and you learn more vocabulary. When you listen, listening is connected with the speaking. So okay. the most you listen, the most confident you will feel when speaking. And the most you read, the most confident you will feel when writing. Because you're yeah. looking at the structure, you're looking at the vocabulary in context. And that helps uh, for writing. Okay? So take advantage of it of the of the things that we have now in internet okay. do, do you do any any practice uh, a part of reading the books what else would you do 
I I always walk and I try to to sing to sing words in English and mm -hmm. I repeat. I try to to think in English and repeat the words, <laughs> but for me it's difficult to to explain my my words or or try to 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 say the idea. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. But with the practice, remember, you continue reading in English and then you listen to things in English. That will give you like more vocabulary and more security. Yeah. And the most you exposed to the language, uh, the easiest it will become for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't give up. Continue giving that extra mind, <laughs> and you will see the difference, right? Yes. yes. I know it's yes. not easy. I know it's not easy because sometimes it's. It's tiring to be working and then studying because of the time that we have to divide the time in doing the work and doing the homework, attending the class and checking the family. I know there are too many things to do, but it's worth the value, right? So at the end, you will feel like, yes, I did it, right? So go ahead. my it's my goal that people <laughs> definitely you will get it so go ahead do do those those listenings right and do that practice agenda web will help you a lot because that is that is a very okay. complete platform so you can do a lot of practicing mm -hmm. okay bye up with sandra i don't know if you have any other comments sandra no that's it. okay. No. Okay. Well, let's go rest again and see you tomorrow, the last day. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Take care. You too. Bye bye, Sandra. Take care.